Hi everyone, so internship guys of the last batch was supposed to start their internships from September middle but that is changed now. Today they got a meeting and a leader connect meeting basically. There they were told that the first stage of their internship what I have already explained the first stage of internship in my previous video uh, the part one everything about cognitive internship you can check there so that already uh, who completed internship already that guys had the first stage of their internship from office only but now the things are changed so they were given study materials at home few months before and now they are been asked to give a test okay to give a evaluation or qualifier exam uh, the exam will be on uh, September last week or October middle there will be two slots so which slot you are getting which location of the exam this will be given to you by the company in coming weeks so but the exam syllabus and study materials were given already before but exam syllabus uh, and the other things also have been mentioned in today's meeting I'm going to tell you all about that so they said the exam will be in four locations Chennai, Coimbatore, Bangalore and Pune but they also said that the mostly 70% of the people will get Chennai location so the exam date I have already told you the one might be at the end of September another might be in the uh, middle of October okay so uh, now uh, what about the procedures okay what are the stages what is the flow I am going to talk about that so first I am going to talk there are two categories first is regular agencies okay this is only agency people and some are special hiring that is Gen C elevates and digital nurture people like Gen C Pro and Gen C Next. So there are two categories. Both the, for both the categories the flow will be similar. So they will be having a common qualifier assessment but the assessment will be different like they will have different questions like Gen C will have different questions and elevate and other guys will have different questions. So they will both have the exam and after the exam if they clear the exam what do you mean by clearing the exam by clearing we mean 70% marks if they can achieve 70% marks in the exams then they are good to go for stage 2 where they will be trained in their specific domains okay so if they pass the exam they will be going to stage 2 that's okay the second thing I'm going to talk about is what will happen if you fail the qualifier exam if you fail to get 70% uh, or more in the qualifier exam so then you will be having a CIS assessment you will be uh, you will be given an opportunity to join the CIS role the all about CIS role I have already told you okay so I'll make a separate video about the CIS evaluation as well so if you fail the qualifier exam then there will be a CIS evaluation or one-on-one -on -one evaluation for the CIS role if you pass that and if you uh, are meeting their business demands then you will be getting converted into CIS that will be only for those who failed the first qualifier exam if you pass the qualifier you directly go to stage 2 okay of the regular role you were hired for if you fail you will be having an evaluation for CIS if you pass this CIS evaluation you will be going for the CIS role and if you fail even that CIS evaluation as well then your offer will be revoked okay that's why that's what they have said that your LOI will be revoked if you even fail the CIS evaluation like if you fail both the exam then your offer will be revoked but if you pass the first one you will be in uh, normal training and if you uh, fail the first one and uh, pass the CIS one you will be in CIS road that's for the hiring flow now let's talk about what are the things they need to learn for both genesis and elevates so first I am going to talk about regular agencies. So for regular agencies, the course and the syllabus is basic foundation skills. Okay, so there will be foundations of HTML, CSS and uh, Web UI, JavaScript and also there will be SQL course. Okay, there will be a detailed SQL course. You will have to write SQL queries. So I have a playlist for SQL. You can go and refer to that playlist. I will give in, in description. For SQL you can refer to that playlist it will be like very uh, in very short time you can learn the SQL in very easy way 
and uh, there will be uh, java skills okay you will be there will be a uh, training for java skills the training means i that, that uh, materials are already sent to you guys you have to study that on your own okay that will be the java skills and some uh, refreshing java coding questions you have to practice some advanced java topics not very advanced just like uh, the fundamentals and java collections you have to learn both these two especially java collections there will be questions from java collections okay so after that in there will be a assessment the assessments duration will be for 3 hours okay i am talking now about the gen c people for gen c people the assessment will be of 3 hours there will be a section for coding questions for java and sql both java and sql you will be having coding questions but for the other topics i have mentioned that is uh, html css web ui these things you will be having mcqs okay so to be specific the weightage for the coding questions will be higher than mcqs okay you can understand that as well so practice coding as much as possible also you need to uh, learn the mcqs for better marks as well because that will also help you pass the exams but practice codings okay not only learn practice by your own and for sql you can refer to my playlist you, and you should also practice sql from other sources as well this is for gen c's and what about the gen c elevate and the special digital nurture nurture guys so they will also have the similar things for like uh, html css okay html css and uh, the web ui these things will be similar for them as well but the other things they will be having is plsql okay along with sql they will be having plsql and also they will be having java json yaml uh, WS, so Java, they will be having basic Java, Java collection, along with that they will be having advanced Java, that is Spring Framework also, okay. So their assessment will be of 4 hours. So for Gen C people, the assessment is 3 hours. For Gen C Elevate and Digital Nurture guys, the assessment will be of 4 hours. They will be having coding questions from Java, SQL and PLSQL and other Web UI and REST, whatever I have told in the syllabus, for that they will be having questions as mcqs okay so java sql and plsql will be as coding questions and other things will be as mcqs this is for gen c elevate and digital nurture they will be having a four hours long assessment okay so after the assessment if they will be uh, telling you the results in few days and if you clear the test if you pass the test then you will be going for the stage two according to your domain we will receive training and after that project making these things will be there so that is for stage two and uh, what if you fail if there will be CS, cis evaluation you will be going for cis and even if you fail the cis evaluation you will be having a revoked offer okay so one slot might be of 25 september or on that week and the next slot will be 16th october or that week okay uh, so the locations are chennai bangalore coimbatore and pune so chennai will be mostly for 70 percent guys it will be chennai okay and you will have to score at least 70 percent so that's it for today you can refer um, like how the qualifier exam pattern and these things for that video uh, which i have made as part one of our internship and if you want to learn sql from me you can check my video i have both videos in the description box